Caribbean nations say now is the time for the king to say sorry for his ancestral involvement in the slave trade. Campaigners are demanding King Charles apologize and make reparations this year. Their calls are echoed by aristocratic families who've made public apologies for their historic ownership of enslaved people. In recent years, the reparations movement in the Caribbean has grown in strength, led by the CARICOM Reparations Commission made up of 20 member nations and states. The commission's vice chair, Eric Phillips, revealed the king has an opportunity to not only apologize, but to have time to create the architecture of change and the architecture of negotiation that could move things forward. Senior royals haven't stayed silent about slavery, but they have stopped short of saying sorry. In 2023, the king told Commonwealth leaders, I cannot describe the depths of my personal sorrow at the suffering of so many, as I continue to deepen my own understanding of slavery's enduring impact. Prince William addressed this issue during a speech while visiting Jamaica in 2022 with these carefully chosen words. He spoke out, slavery was abhorrent and should never have happened. Greg Hands, a trade minister, was asked whether the king should apologize, to which he said it was a matter for each person. Campaigners are calling for more than the recent rhetoric, and Mr. Phillips wants an apology this year.